all the work I did out here in my new garden today uh, withstood the rain and wind that just came through here. I was out here all morning long fixing up my new garden and um, it still has a ways to go but it's taken shape. I'm, I'm on my way to pick up some flowers that an old friend of mine all the way back from school is going to give me for my new garden that I've been working on. It's um, a garden that I've named Mary's Garden. So I'm looking for some specific flowers to um, put in there uh, with the ones that I already have. And she had um, posted on Facebook that she had some of these particular flowers that I was looking for, which is, they're called Columbine. She texted me that she had some from her own garden that she could share with me. So I'm really excited about that because this garden that I am working on right now is the area that Lucy was digging. She had dug a trench uh, on the side of the house. She was following the uh, following mold, a mold trail. And um, she had that area all dug up statue of the Virgin Mary that I bought shortly after we moved into the house and um, I, I decided that I would put that out there in that garden so that's how it became to be Mary's garden there's like five different flowers that associated with Mary but I know that one is a daisy another is this columbine uh, lavender. Uh, another one is um, marigolds. So marigolds, those should be really easy. I'm pretty sure I can probably find them at any nursery. I also spent a little bit of time touching up the Virgin Mary. Um, need, needed some paint touch up and uh, getting it ready to put, put in its place. And so, yeah, so um, I'm just trying to get some little bit of running around done before uh, dinner. It's almost six o'clock right now. And uh, my friend said that she was gonna be home by six o'clock, so. Somebody has a bunch of flowers. Look at this, oh my goodness, oh. I dug you some up, but uh -huh. you have to put it somewhere where you want it to vine. Okay. But it's got, have you ever heard of a passion flower? No, I have not. It's beautiful. Passion fruit. No, this is called passion flower. It's like a 3D purple flower. Really? How, I was going to say, how do you take care of all this? Do you just let it, do you just, do you let it weed up or do you, are you oh, pulling no. weeds? Oh, oh my God. So oh. I dug you up some of this. So that is what? That's lamb's ear. Lamb's ear. And this is called Snow on the Mountain. Oh, Now wow. these are aggressive, so wherever you put them, uh -huh. you don't want them again. Just uh -huh. start pulling them out. Oh, okay. All you right. If you don't want them, you don't have to take them. Okay, I'll take them. I'm these, not... I... These are the passion flowers I dug oh, you Okay, up. okay. All right. And then these are the three different color combines I got. You see, there's this deep pink. Combine. Why do I keep calling them columbine? No, they, they, it is columbine. columbine. Okay, it is. So there's purple, white, and that dark pink. Uh huh. And how do those grow? Are those? Uh... I'll show you. Come okay. On. All right. Watch the show. Okay. Would you, would you like some grass? I'll take. This is what it comes up like. Uh huh. Okay. And it doesn't get much taller than that. Uh huh. But it gets a really pretty flower. Like oh. That. Yeah. Sure. Sure. And, and you don't have to. And you don't have to cut. You don't have to do all this right now. I mean, I can okay. come back another time. You can take it all if you got somewhere to lay it in your car. Yeah, I do. Okay. I do. Would you like some of this? Yeah, this, this is, is beautiful. Oh wow, this is beautiful. I've got like a start back there. We can dig you up. Oh okay. Uh huh. So he's he's. Oh, got some wow. of the stinky beans. He did. Oh, look at. I don't know where he's working. I'm I just. I here. am just in awe of all of these plants and and flowers and everything you know i see it i, I see it on youtube all the time <laughs> but i never get to see it like this see, this now, is there's gorgeous the here let's go okay here. all right now don't, don't 
Uh -huh. Because I only had three, and now look at them. Which is it, right here? This is all the columbines okay, right Okay, this is all the columbines right here. I'm not, I'm not even familiar with Columbine, I've, but, but it, it's, it's supposed to be in. My, I'm doing a Mary's garden. I'm oh, doing okay. a Mary garden, so that's so just part of it. I gave you one this color. Okay. One that color. See how pretty that is? Yeah, that is. This is pretty too. Purple, my favorite color. Yes. Yeah. 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 It is very pretty. And then there's a white one. Okay. Oh, this is cute. Oh, it's all broken. Look at. Oh, I know. I've got pieces like that too. <laughs> I I put my stuff back together too. I hate to get rid of anything. And then when I lived on Franklin oh. Road, I used to give my wood. This friend of mine's husband used to come and get wood. Yeah. So out of the wood he took, he made me that birdhouse. Ain't that something? You know Dan Mayo? Do you remember the Mayos? Danny yeah. Howard and and yeah. and they had an older brother. He made me he made me a bird house for for there's some barn swallows in there right now that have made a nest isn't that nice i love people that can be so creative Thank like you. that look at this wow all this in here i brought from my other house oh, every bit of it really yeah this is at bishop's weed or snow on the mountain that i gave you uh-huh okay and like i said is it, it, it looks, looks like a nice ground cover it's a beautiful ground cover yeah but sometimes wow. it gets too invasive so i just go through and rip it out <laughs> you can see where I started ripping it out yesterday. Oh, wow. I have this one, too, if you want it. Okay, what is it? Know, that's the same stuff I dug you up. Oh, okay. That's called lamb's ear. Here it is blooming. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'll take it. So I, this is what it looks like This is it what blooms. it looks like. But wow. it's too much. You can see it's, it's taken off. What's it called, lamb's ear? Lamb's ear. Does it attract bees? Look. Yeah, I see them in there. Honey, uh, it, the bees, and it also attracts hummingbirds. What kind of bees are they? Honey bees. Honey bees? Mm -hmm. And it attracts the, the hummingbirds. hummingbirds. Yeah. Okay. Do you ever get to enjoy your front porch? Not as often as I'd like to. My cats do. They play up there. Yeah. Well, it's I know, I bet. Well, my husband's a farmer, so at this time of year, he's busy. Does he farm around here? Yeah, he, this is all our land. Oh, okay. On the outside behind us, but he farms other farms too. There's Oh, wow. Wow. That's nice. That's really nice. Don't you just love it out here, Vicki? I know. I do, too. I love it out here. I've been out here 20... Uh, well, the boys are going to be 23. No, but we've just been out here 20 years. We just love it. I got you on video. Okay, so what do we got here? This is Black Eyed Susan's and Black more lamb's ear and snow on the mountain. Sam, Which one is the snow on the mountain? This one. Oh, okay. That one That's is. That's what all this is. Okay. See the flowers? Yeah, this is the ground cover. Yes. Okay. I think I got enough to keep me busy for a little while. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. I can't thank you enough for all of it. What is it called? It's just grass. Is it ornamental grass or something? Ornamental grass. But it doesn't get much taller. Okay. And should I just bunch this up, plant it just like this, or separate it? You can separate it if you want. Okay. Okay, grab a hold. Okay. I have all these plants that she gave me, and now I got to go and get them in the ground. It don't even matter if I remember what the names are. So um, this one here, I do remember. It's called Lamb's Ear. Looks like a little lamb's ear. That's why. I kept calling it lamb's breath for some reason, but it's lamb's ear. And then there's this decorative grass right here that flowers. And uh, this is the um, the black-eyed Susans, I know that. And we've got some uh, really, really, we've got three different colors of columbine in there. And um, hmm, that's it. All the rest of the stuff is escaping me, but we're gonna get it in the ground right now. The majority of the plants that I got from my friend Vicki went into the ground with the exception of these ones that are in these pots because I'm run out of daylight and I still had to pick up my mess. I just gotta tell you, it just hurts me so to see these um, plants all droopy and falling over and like drowned and I just hope they can come back to life. I just I gave them all a drink of water, so I know that those are um, 
pretty sure those are the Black Eyed Susans. I already had some, but I wanted some more because I like them so much. And, um, or those might be the, the Susans. I don't even know. See, she was totally right about me not knowing what the heck. So the only thing I do know for sure is that this is the lamb's ear and they stood so beautiful in her yard just before we yanked them out of the ground. And uh, this ornamental grass that has like a little plume. Wow, look at that sunset. I gotta get a picture of that. We have beautiful sunsets out here. No doubt about it. Wow. So last night we had some storms roll in and these plants got some much needed water. I was really debating on whether or not to water them before I went in for the night because they were looking so sad. But I knew we had these storms coming and um, I just I just waited it, waited it out. Right now, it looks really crowded and that's because it is but next summer i can come in here and i can pull things out and move them around into another flower bed i got one more flower that i'm going to put right in here and it's uh, mary's mantle when that comes today i ordered it off of uh etsy on saturday i put the lavender in Saturday I put the lavender in that I bought at Holmes Nursery and I also put in marigolds. It's all a part of um, Mary's garden. There's five flowers that uh, represent Mary's garden and I have the lavender is one. Uh, there's marigolds back there. That's two. Um, daisies is another one and I have daisies that are right there that's daisy and this is a daisy and then I have Mary's mantle coming which is going to be right here and it's all green it's green uh, leaves green flowers so that's going to be really neat and unique and the one thing that I'm missing is a clematis I think that's how you pronounce it. I have nowhere to put it, so I'm not even going to worry about that. What I'm really concerned about is this lamb's ear over here. My friend gave me a bushel and it was standing beautiful at her house. And then I bring it over here and this is what it looks like. I'm hoping that by some miracle it will just stand uh, beautiful like it did at her house. And here everything is just growing like crazy I need to get out here I've really been neglecting the garden because of all the shirt making that I'm doing but you know I'm retired there's time for everything I just gotta make the time these are Mary's mantle that I ordered on Etsy two of them for $16.99 so those are the last of my flowers to go in my Mary's garden I'm gonna go put them in